Hello everyone, I'm recording for you today's section uh, regarding the relational algebra. First of all, we are going to talk about relational algebra. If you remember, we are going to start the sections. We are going to work database. We are going to design uh, the scenario or the mini world system that we are going to implementation. Uh, then this design, we are going to mapping. We are going to relational model. A relational model that can be مثل مجموعة tables or relations that are present in the database and the relationships uh, Arriving to the relational algebra. A relational algebra is uh, a مجموعة من العمليات or a set of operations we can do on the relational model that we have created. Uh, the operations are mainly that we can specify basic retrieval requests. يعني إيه؟ يعني احنا كويري الداتابيس بتاعتنا او نكويري على الريليشنال موديل بتاعنا هدف الكويري دي في الاخر ان هي بتوصلنا لريليشن جديده بتتكون ناتج عن وات ايفر سيت اوف اوبريشن احنا عملناه فيرست تايب اوف ريليشنال اوبريشنز از ا يونري اوبريشن اسمها سيلكت السيلكت اوبريشن دي برمز لها في ريليشنال الجبرا بعلامه السيجما والسجمة دي هدفها أو السلكت عامة أوبريشن إن هي بترجع لي سبسيت أو مجموعة من الريكوردز أو الروز بتاعتي الموجودة عندي في التيبل أو ريليشن بيست على سلكشن كريتيريا أو كونديشن معين ناخد إكزامبل لو بيقول لحضرتك تطلع سلكت ذا إمبلويز هوز ديبارتمنت نمبر إز فور عايز يعرف مين الموظفين اللي انجيجت في ديبارتمنت رقمها أربعة. Assume أن this is the relational model بتاع table employee اللي عندنا. If you can see the arrow is pointing to the DNO. DNO that is an attribute holding the department number that the employee is engaged in. So simply المفروض ده هنفكر ازاي؟ المفروض إن إحنا من table employee نعمل selection condition أو criteria على ال attribute اللي اسمه DNO أو In other words, نروح نبص مين ال records اللي عندها DNO equals four. وهم مدول the records that are supposed to be retrieved from the operation أو من the relational operation إحنا نعمله. How to write this in relational algebra expression? First of all, أنا بحب أكتبها بالترتيب ده. أول حاجة هيك تفكر فيها مين الجدول اللي أنت هتتعامل معه. So I'm dealing with employee table. واتفقنا ايه نوع الاوبريشن اللي هنعمله الاوبريشن اللي مربوط بالكونديشن از ذا سيجما سو انا هقول له سيجما ذا دي ان او ايكوالز 4 انذر اكزامبل سيلكت ذا امبلويز هو سالاري از جريتر ذان 30000 طيب ده عايز ايه عايز يرجع الموظفين اللي بياخدوا مرتبات اكتر من 30000 اون ذا سيم سكيما المره دي هنبص على ذا سالاري اتريبيوت And we'll query mean the records or mean the rows that the musafin, el biyakhdo murtabat akter min thirteen alf, and he di records fil akhir el hatir galim. Nktab hasay. Bardo han shtagal ala table employee. And this time han amal sigma, where the salary is greater than thirty thousand. Actually, selection operation or select operator, ando shway properties. تعالوا ناخد الإكزامبل ده هو بيقول select the employees who work in department number 4 and whose salary is greater than 30,000 هو عمل combining the both conditions اللي فاتوا في السلايد اللي قبل دي في ناس ممكن تحل ايه تقول هسلكت من ال employee الناس الأول اللي department بتاعتها أربعة وبعدين الناس دي أروح أتشك عليها وأشوف مين فيهم بياخد salary أكتر من 30,000 فا الجدول مثلا هبتدي ابص الاول على الدي ان او الناس الديبارتمنت بتاعتها اربعه واروح ابص على الثري ريكوردز دول اشوف مين فيهم السالري بتاعته هتكون اكتر من تلاتين آه الف وهيطلع لي موظف واحده اللي هي جينيفر والاس سو ذا ريزلت ويل بي ذا ريكورد وذ اول اتريبيوتس اوف جينيفر والاس المعلومه اللي عايزه اقولها لكم ان السلكت انه السلكشن اوبريشن عامه از كيوميليتيف يعني ايه كيوميليتيف يعني ان انا اقول له آه ان انا اعمل السالري الاول او اعمل الكونديشن بتاع السالري الاول هو هو if i considered 
ال uh, above way إن أنا أعمل ال DNO than the salary. Here in the second example, I'm doing the salary uh, condition first. I'm checking whose salary is greater than thirty thousand. Then I will be checking on uh, uh, which of these have department number four. And at the end, they will yield to the same uh, result, which is Jennifer Wallace. So. Uh, there is another method working on the same table employee is to conjunct the, these two uh, cumulative selection. In other words, and then I'm going to an and operator. And I'll tell you, the word on the staff is the salary of them is more than 30,000. And also, they are in department number four once. So he will be working on the attribute salary and DNO in parallel, checking the two conditions in parallel. Next, um, the, the next relation operation is the project or what's called projection. Projection operation for relational algebra is the most important pi. The operation is the main thing to add columns or attributes from the relation and discard other attributes. Now, let's take an example. If we say to list each employee's first and last name and the salary. Working uh, on the same table, employee, had of the operation DE, and he had to column fee. The first will last name and the salary of the employees. So yani we need to project these three columns from the whole table. We don't need all the attributes. We just need to project the three attributes. So we're going to write it like I said. We're going to start with the table, which is employee. And I will use the pi for the three attribute names, F name, L name, and salary. Uh, unlike a select, a selection operation, projection is not cumulative. In other words, in table employee, project the salary and first name. Then, get what the operation is about the regard of the attributes, one of the salary, one of the first name, that the most of get all the project the first name. Hayamali, he will omit the salary column and will go على طول و project بس حيد بقالي the first name which is equal and then I will project the first name from employee so in this case projection is not cumulative now let's take further examples uh, applying the select and the project operations if you can see example number A it's an operation on table employee. It's checking an either or condition. The first condition is that the employee is in department number four and having salary greater than 25,000. Or the employee is in department number five and having salary greater than 30,000. So whoever employees satisfying either or condition will be retrieved. If you notice again, that the selection operation uh, results in a relation, a new relation, having all attributes of the table by default as long as we didn't specify um, or project specific attributes to appear. For the second uh, example B, it's the example we were working on uh, on the previous slide. It project only the last name, first name and salary from the employee, so changing uh, um, or uh, rearranging the attributes uh, will result in a relation with the, uh, um, with the order of the attributes that you have been projecting. Finally, number C, it just project the sex and the salary from employee. And notice an important thing in example C, uh, the resulting tuples or the resulting records of the projection is uh, um, less one row, cause uh, projection operation does not duplicate similar records. In other words, يعني لو عندنا اثنين rows في table عندهم the same values بس في كل attributes they will appear مرة واحدة بس. So if you can see the sex female along with the salary 2000 uh, part and 25,000 is duplicated in the table twice so it appears only once. The first occurrence of it just appears. Uh, moving to another relational algebra operations, which are the union, intersect, and difference. 
Uh, first of all, the rule to apply any of these uh, operations, any of these operators, uh, the two relations or the relations you're working on must be type compatible. In e type compatible. Consider logic and the two relations, relation one and relation two, and they have some attributes. أول حاجة عشان نقول على relations دول compatible لازم يكون عندهم نفس عدد ال attributes. In other words, لو جدول الأولاني في three attributes يبقى الجدول التاني لازم يبقى في three attributes. مش بس كده لازم كمان ال attributes دول يكون of the same domain correspondingly. يعني إيه؟ يعني لو ال attribute الأولاني في الجدول الأولاني is of data type number so لازم ال attribute الأولاني في الجدول التاني يكون of number as well and so forth لو التاني هنا بيشيل string يبقى لازم التاني هناك يشيل string and so on so to apply compatibility دول حاجتين مهمين قوي يكون عن الجدولين عندهم نفس عدد ال attributes وال attributes تكون of the same domain طبعا ال relation لرجع من ال union أو ال intersect أو ال minus بتكون uh, relation جديدة زي طبيعة ال relation ال algebra operations كلها وبتاخد by default اسم الجدول الأولين Let's consider some examples if we have two tables table student and table instructor uh, can you see first of all the two tables are type compatible type compatibly table student عنده Uh, two attributes the other one is fn which is uh, varchar or string the ln the second attribute shall string as well looking for the instructor table it has as well two attributes the other one f name it holds string and the second one is l name that holds string as well or below the sql we call it varchar data type uh, applying first student union instructor student union instructor the union operator ده بيعمل ايه the union operator بيعمل بيappend the records of the second table تحت the records of the first table بس بحاجة مهمة قوي without any duplications من غير اي تكرار لو هتشوفوا the two labeled records Susan Yao and Ramesh Shah They already exist in the first table, which is the student. They are records in student table, so they will be omitted or considered only one. So the result will be a new table with two attributes. Automatically, it takes the names of the first table, which is the student, for the attribute names, and it will append all the columns without duplications. The next operator is the intersect. If we say student intersect instructor, the intersection simply from its um, meaning, it fetches the common records or the records our rows in the gedwalin and landom nafs qayam al attributes and it returns it. So we found the two attributes, al homa the f n and l n are the attributes taken for the new relation name, which are the attributes of student relation. And the two records uh, retrieved are Susan Yao and Ramesh Shah, which are the intersection between the two tables. Okay, what for the uh, student minus a uh, difference instructor? Student difference instructor, uh, the, the difference operator or the minus operator, it checks what's in student and not in instructor, as if it returns the student uh, records without the intersection. So only the records that belongs to the student table and does not exist in the instructor table will be returned. As well, a table of two columns having the names of the first uh, relation is considered uh, with all the records of the student table and not an instructor. If you can see, um, Student union instructor will, real, will yield to the same result as instructor union student. In other words, the same records will be retrieved. The difference is just the name of the columns. In the side, the instructor union student will result in a new relation with the same attributes that the instructor. It will be called F name and L name. Well, this is not a big deal in the database as we can rename the column names. But in the end, the records will be the same. Same for the intersect. 
instructor intersect the student is the same as student intersect instructor, same result. Unlike the minus or the difference operator, student minus instructor is not like instructor minus student. Instructor minus student will retrieve the records that is in instructor and not in student. So it will result in a table with two attributes having the names of the instructor table in this case, which is F name and L name. And these are the records that exist in table instructor and not in student.